What does it take for human beings to achieve the impossible? Whether it's a moment of unbelievable sporting achievement or in the discovery of an otherwise unattainable level of technology and science, us humans have been pushing the boundaries of what can be realized ever since we struck two stones together and made fire. For legends to be forged, it often takes a special kind of person to look at a challenge in a way never before seen, to take the road less traveled and become something truly great in the process. Well, from record-breaking record breakers to free solo adventurers, here's 15 times the impossible became possible. I'm going to land this. <laughs> Faith Dickey. For our first entry, let's take a look at one of the more surprising achievements in fashion history, one of the highest tightrope stunts ever attempted in high heels. For those of you familiar with the difficulty of walking in stilettos, it's no secret that it takes a special kind of balance in order to tiptoe your way in 45 degree heels. But to do that while making your way across a tiny slack rope dozens of feet off the ground? Yeah, that's a whole different sport. Feast your eyes on the extraordinary techniques of Faith Dickey, one of the most decorated slackline champions in sporting history, who back in 2014 decided to take her athleticism to a whole new level. Astonishingly, as part of an exhibition in order to get more women interested in the sport, Faith Dickey pulled off the stunt without a hitch, despite the fact that not only was she wearing four-inch heels, it was also raining. Amazingly, Faith has earned herself an incredibly decorated career in the sport of slacklining, and she's the current holder of numerous world records. Her longest length is a slackline walk of 315 feet, and her highest is an eye-watering 4,000 feet, which she achieved while walking a line over the Swiss Alps. While this astonishing feat seemed impossible to many for Faith Dickey, it was just another walk in the park. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? <laughs> Fastest Motorcycle Handlebar Willy Some people walk across unexplored heights and others decide to power through on a motorcycle. While slacklining may seem pretty darn impressive when it comes to impossible stunts of the sporting world, few things are as jaw-dropping as this next entry. Back in August 2020, a 28-year-old stuntman from England set a new world record at an event in North Yorkshire by pulling off a death-defying stunt known as High Chair Willie. Johnny Davies, also known as Stunner Johnny, clocked in at an eye-popping 109.229 miles per hour while riding a Suzuki GSX R1000, all while sitting on the handlebars and pulling off a 45-degree wheelie. Amazingly, Johnny managed to beat the previous world record by just one mile per hour, which was held by an Irishman named Enda Wright. But when you're traveling at such death-defying speeds while holding on to the handlebars, even the slightest change makes all the difference. Believe it or not, but he claimed to have beat the record while preparing himself for the stunt. And although it wasn't recorded under such strict conditions, incredibly, Davy said he managed to travel at 122 miles per hour while practicing. Even more impressive is the fact that Johnny is a relative newcomer to the lifelong dedication to motorbike stunt performance and has catapulted himself to both British and Scottish stunt champion in a relatively short amount of time. <laughs> Stefan Kraft Speaking of high-speed records, sure, they may be pretty darn impressive when powered by a motor, but how about while hurling down a snow-covered mountain on two planks of wood? Yeah, skiing is a very impressive skill in its own right, and the truth is, some of the more extraordinary moments in the sporting world pale in comparison to the death-defying achievements that have taken place in the Ski Jumping Hall of Fame. Throughout Alpine history, brave men and women have hurled themselves down the steepest of mountains in order to literally fly through the air of snow-covered valleys, and in 2017, the Austrian world champion ski jumper Stefan Kraft soared into the record books with the longest competitive ski jump ever documented. At just 23 years old, Stefan landed a jaw-dropping 831 feet in Vikersen, Norway, catapulting his extraordinary sporting achievement to the top of the podium alongside some of the most legendary names in winter sporting history. Incredibly, Kraft beat the previous record of 826 feet, which had been set just two hours earlier by Norway's Robert Johansson, making it one of the quickest back-to-back record-baking jumps ever seen. 
The previous record was held by Norway's Anders Fanemil, who enjoyed his reign for two years, a little longer than his fellow countrymen. <laughs> Tanner Faust If you hadn't guessed by now, many of these extraordinary achievements occur at eye-popping high speeds, but few of them are as ridiculous as this next entry. Back in 2011, Tanner Faust, a pro stunt driver and official X Games gold medalist, made history at the Indianapolis 500 with a 332-foot ramp-to-ramp jump in a modified Pro 2-style four-wheel drive truck. If that sounds like a mouthful, the long and short is, the guy pulled off a life-size Hot Wheels jump, hurtling through the air at astonishing speeds. Ground as it does up on the board, and I sat up there just thinking, there's no way this is 100 feet. And safely landed the longest four-wheel vehicle jump ever attempted. Incredibly, it wasn't even close either, and Tanner Faust absolutely crushed the previous world record by a staggering 31 feet. As Tanner soared through the air, thousands of onlookers watched in awe at the spectacle, holding their breath in the hope that one of the brightest talents in racing history would land the stunt safely. Thankfully, he did exactly that and Tanner's career in the world of professional stunt driving continues to flourish. Who knows what other death-defying tricks he'll attempt next. <laughs> Quadruple BMX Backflip While we're on the subject of extreme sporting history, not every trick in the book needs a high-powered motor to make the impossible possible. For decades, ever since skateboarding and BMXing stunt riding hit the big time, Dozens of extraordinary athletes have achieved the unachievable, smashing the expectations of their audience by performing death-defying stunts that no one ever thought was imaginable. In the world of BMX riding in particular, performing the coveted triple backflip is a rite of passage that only a certain type of rider can ever hope to achieve, hurtling through the air at eye-watering speeds all while defying gravity in the process. Astonishingly, only a handful of riders in the world have ever safely landed it. Jet Milden and James Foster back in the first time in 2011. However, there's another level that BMX stunt riders can often dream of, the legendary quadruple backflip, and incredibly, it's only ever been landed by one person, the previously mentioned Jed Milden, an athlete who seems to have a particular skill at making the impossible possible. There are few words to explain the sheer level of skill it takes to achieve this jaw-dropping stunt and we're pretty sure there's a whole lot of dumb luck involved too. <laughs> the world's highest bungee jump. If you're scared of heights, it's probably best that you don't look down for this next eye-watering entry. For the vast majority of us, taking the plummet off the edge of an incredibly tall building while attached to a bungee rope is the last item on our bucket list, but still, even in the high-risk world of adrenaline-seeking, high-rise diving, there are those that make the impossible a reality and push the boundaries of what was ever thought possible. Feast your eyes on the world's tallest bungee jump, an incredible installation in the high-rise structure of Macau Tower in China that offers those willing to take the plunge a truly impossible experience. At a staggering 764 feet, this tower jump is unlike any other bungee jump on Earth. And it's the only commercially available experience that allows you to legally and safely jump off a skyscraper. The once-in-a-lifetime tower jumping experience is owned and operated by AJ Hackett, who are now the leading company in world-class bungee jumping. And incredibly, their thrill-seeking history started after the company's founder decided to try and achieve the impossible himself. Back in 1987, AJ Hackett climbed to the top of the Eiffel Tower in Paris and illegally jumped off all while attached to a bungee rope. In the process, he kickstarted a bungee jumping revolution and somehow managed to convince millions of people to do the same. 60 miles per hour in a bin. All right, if you thought jumping off the top of a Chinese skyscraper was impressive, how about setting a world record for the fastest ever trash bin? Yeah, stick with us, because while this one may seem a little wacky, it's also an achievement of some truly extraordinary engineering. Back in September 2020, an engineer from the United Kingdom set a new Guinness World Record by reaching speeds of over 40 miles per hour in what is essentially a modified dumpster. Known in the UK as a wheelie bin, the wacky engineering feat was achieved by Andy Jennings, a 28-year-old man from Swindon who decided that the perfect way to tackle his boredom was to turn a household trash vessel into a super-powered racing machine. 
complete with a small motorbike engine, a manual gearbox, an ignition, a steering wheel, and even a comfortable bike seat. Initially, Guinness World Record officials had set Andy a benchmark of over 30 miles per hour in order to secure himself the record, but the engineer quickly smashed that goal and he hurled down the racetrack at an eye-watering 43 miles per hour. Sure, it may not be everyone's idea of making the impossible possible, but you've got to admit, even the most eccentric of achievements deserve a mention. <laughs> Unreal eyelashes Alright, we're gonna level with you. If you ever thought that you had long eyelashes, you don't. Because no matter how fluttering and flowing your optical hairs may seem, they're nothing compared to the unreal eyelashes of our next impossible entry. While it may seem fake at first glance, Yu Jiangxia has a profusion of long and luxurious eyelashes that flow from her lids, the lengthiest of which grows on her left upper eye and reaches a record-breaking length of 4.88 inches. Back in Shanghai, She's noticed that her eyelashes were experienced increasing growth during an 18-month nature retreat that she embarked on back in 2013, and she believes that her unprecedented growth is due to living at one with nature. As a highly spiritual individual, the record breaker claims that her extraordinary eyelashes are a symbol of her health and vitality, and she considers her optical assets a beautiful display. Incredibly, the previous record holder was beaten by over one and a half inches, and the title was held by a woman from Canada named Gillian Kremlinzi. The truth is, no one is entirely sure why these women have managed to grow such huge eyelashes. And for you, it seems that there's no end in sight. <laughs> David Rush Sure, we may have featured a whole bunch of Guinness World Record Breakers on this list so far, but none of them can compete with the sheer abundance of our next entry. Meet David Rush, an American man who currently holds over 150 Guinness World Record titles and shows no sign of stopping. For many people, having a hobby is a pretty important part of living, one that's nurtured and grown for years at a time. But for David Rush, learning a new talent or skill is a daily occurrence. With a dazzling array of titles to his name, the serial record breaker holds the crown for a number of extraordinary talents, such as the longest time balancing a bicycle on his chin, the farthest distance to blow a pea in one breath, and the farthest tortilla ever thrown. In fact, the past few months alone, the father of two has set brand new records for sticking ping pong balls and shaving cream on his hair, the most wet sponge hits in his face in 30 seconds, and even balancing a chainsaw on his forehead. Perhaps even more astonishingly, he's also not alone in his pursuit of racking up more titles than anyone can ever hope for, and although he's the proud holder of 150 titles, he's only considered to be in the top 5 greatest of all time. Amazingly, Guinness' most prolific world record breaker is Ashrita Furman from Brooklyn, New York, a man who has set over 600 weird and wonderful records in his life. <laughs> bed of Nail Sandwich For the vast majority of us, lying on a bed of nails is a pretty impossible feat. Not because it's ridiculously challenging or out of reach, but because, well, our better instincts tell us that lying on top of hundreds of pointed nails is a pretty terrible idea. Well, forget about all that because this next entry takes sleeping uncomfortably to a whole new level. Back in October of 2019, nine men from India set the world record for the most people in a layered bed of nails sandwich ever achieved, piling themselves in a painstaking arrangement that featured one-inch nails as their only means of support. Why? Well, why not? Perhaps not surprisingly, it seems that there isn't that much competition in this eye-watering field, and the group of men were the competitors to their own previous record, which featured a grand total of eight of them piled atop each other. The group, all of which are martial artists, believe that their sheer strength of mental will is what got them through this ordeal. Hey, if you can dream it, then you can achieve it. <laughs> Eric Wanmayer Alright, while most of the entries on this list have been pretty tongue-in-cheek, this next astonishing story is a true tale of unbelievable physical fortitude. Throughout history, tens of thousands of adventurers have attempted to tackle the largest mountain on the planet, Mount Everest, but only roughly 5,000 of them have ever made the summit. Doing so is considered to be one of the toughest physical challenges that a human can undertake, and being at peak physical condition is a must. But one of those adventurers had more than just a mountain to overcome. 
Eric was born with retinoscosis, an eye condition that left him totally blind by the age of 13. Despite that, on the 25th of May of 2001, by making the impossible possible, Eric conquered the highest peak in the world, becoming the first blind man in history to reach the summit of Mount Everest. In 2017, he was joined by another, Andy Hosier of Austria, who had been blind since birth, and the pair remain the only blind people to have ever reached the top. Incredible. Jim Arrington as the world's oldest professional bodybuilder, Jim Arrington continues to defy convention, and despite being a great-grandfather, this 88-year-old from California loves nothing more than competing in world-class bodybuilding competitions. Throughout his career, Jim has competed in 62 competitions, and incredibly, he has won 16 of them. Arrington, who was born back in 1932, believes that his fitness journey didn't begin with him having a natural aptitude for weightlifting. But instead, it was down to his ability to work hard throughout his life, no matter the obstacle. Amazingly, as of 2020, Jim still finds competition against people almost 50 years his junior. Professional bodybuilding competition in Venice, California, USA on September uh, 2015. And although he's considered to be somewhat of a veteran of the scene, his incredible athleticism is taken as seriously as anyone else's. Hmm. <laughs> Basketball on a toothbrush. If you thought breaking the speed limit in a trash can was impressive, well, ever seen a basketball spinning on a toothbrush? Yeah, we told you we were achieving the impossible today. Well, feast your eyes on one of the strangest world records ever undertaken. The longest record time for spinning a basketball on a toothbrush. Despite being the most absurd attempt ever undertaken, surprisingly, there's been an incredible amount of competition for this record throughout its history, and it's changed hands between a number of competing entrants over the past five years. However, all of those records were shattered back on January 1st, 2019, when a man from India took the top spot with a recorded time of 68.15 seconds. Sandeep Singh managed to spin his way to dental glory by smashing the previous record of 64.03, which was achieved by Thaneswar Garadgai of Nepal back in 2018. Amazingly, he also claimed that he can beat his own record with relative ease and will fight off any competitor that comes close. <laughs> Lucas Milliard while we previously spoke about Faith Dickey and her extraordinary slacklining abilities, this next entry takes things to much loftier heights. Meet Lucas Milliard, a French slackline walker who set an incredible Guinness World Record back in 2016 by achieving the fastest 100-meter slackline walk ever recorded. While the 100-meter race is usually withheld for the Olympics, it seems that competitive slackline walkers also take up the mantle by balancing between nylon weeping stretched tight between two anchor points. Despite being up against some pretty tough competition, Lucas Milliard took the top spot with his record-breaking speed of 1 minute and 59 seconds, all while balancing 492 feet in the air. Amazing. Free solo. Okay, and for our final entry, when it comes to climbing to impossible heights, what better way to end than with one of the most extraordinary achievements in history? Seriously, we're not even just talking about sporting history either, because Alex Hanold's unbelievable free solo climb of Yosemite's El Capitan is one of the most incredible physical feats ever undertaken. For those of you that are familiar with the legendary climb of Alex, you'll know the risk that this man took. But for those of you that aren't, we should probably put into perspective the dangers that Hanold faced during this ascent. On June 3, 2017, he made the first ever free solo ascent of El Capitan, one of the most challenging rock faces on the planet, completing the 2,900 feet free rider route in just three hours and 56 minutes. He did all of this with no ropes, no harnesses, and no safety equipment of any kind, and his own physical strength, determination, and a boatload of climbing chalk. The feat, which has never been successfully completed by any other human, is often described as one of the greatest athletic achievements of all time, ever. In many ways, Alex truly made the impossible possible. Well, there we have it. 15 times the impossible became possible. What'd you guys think? Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for sticking around all the way until the end. You've been watching Missing Files. See you next time.